Today I'm releasing a new program, XOR KPA, that allows you to uh, do a known plain text attack on uh, XOR encoded files. So that's a new uh, program, XOR KPA. It takes plain text as input, a file with the plain text, and then a file with the ciphertext, and then it will try to recover uh, the repeating key. So I have two files here, ciphertext xml.txt and prefix xml.txt. Now this one here is encoded. I can do a hex dump like this here. Now we know that uh, it is XML, so that's how we can do a, a plain, a known plain text uh, attack on it. Uh, we know that it is XML, but you cannot see this here because it is uh, encoded with an XOR uh, key. And uh, since it is XML, we know that it will start with uh, this string. So that's what I have in file prefix.xml. So now when I run XOR KPA with this prefix and ciphertext, I get this as a result. So XOR KPA has found three possible keys. The first one here, so the first thing that happens is that when you XOR a known plain text with ciphertext, that is that you recover the key stream. And here you can see the key stream is secret key, secret key, secret key, and so on. So this is a, a repeating key. And uh, XOR KPA is able to uh, extract the key itself, secret key. And it also tells us that there are uh, 45 extra bytes. So that means that when we look at the key stream here, that it is uh, 45 bytes long and that the key itself with secret key is uh, 9 byte long so our key stream is uh, 45 extra bytes uh, long so that's a very good uh, confidence for uh, finding this key well in the other cases here we only have one extra byte so uh, you see here that the key stream starts with an M and then goes on for a long way and then also ends with an M. Uh, sorry, it starts again here with an M. So that's very unlikely to be um, a key. Now you can filter out those uh, keys with low confidence by using option minus E. E stands for extra. And here with minus E Two, I'm going to filter on all key streams that have at least two uh, extra bytes, like this. And then I only get here the 45 extra keys, the secret key. I can decode the file. So the ciphertext file can be decoded with minus D. This will take the most uh, the, the key with the most confidence, so here um, the 45 byte extra key, and use that to try to decode the ciphertext. And as you can see here, it is able to decode the ciphertext. Now this is, uh, as an example, a small XML file. You will also encounter um, frequently XOR encoded .exe files, like this one that I made here, I uh, took a notepad and uh, encoded it with a repeating XOR key. Now, what we know about PE files is that it uh, very often contains the following string in the beginning. This program cannot be run in DOS mode. DOS mode. So we could put that in a text file uh, and use that 
as the known plain text in the known plain text uh, attack. But since it is uh, frequent that we want to search for uh, a simple uh, string, a simple ASCII string, I have uh, provided a feature in XOR KPA that you don't uh, need to store the known plain text in a file, but that you can also provide it uh, as an argument. And you just have to start with an X key here, like this, the hash uh, character. And then we can type this program can not be run in DOS mode. And of course, since this contains space characters, we need to quote it. Like this. Again, we are going to filter on at least two extra bytes. And we provide the encrypted notepad executable. Now this here will take a bit longer because uh, the executable executable is about 200k and uh, XOR KPA has to look for this non plain text in whole of uh, 200k. Okay, so we have three keys and here you can see that the most likely key here is, uh, is password with uh, an extra bytes of uh, 30.